Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga. And today I'm going to repot these two Tolumnias that I recently bought from Germany, from Karge. And today I would like to repot them and put them in a uh, slightly different pot. I have them here. It's a little bit bigger, and um, but it's the same pots that I have for my other two. And I like the look of these pots a bit better than those ones, so therefore I choose this ones, these ones for uh, for the day. Um, so yeah, let's first get them out of the pot and let's see what we have. They did put them up within a basket with some uh, quite large bark around it, a lot of air. So I uh, kind of get while they uh, use that bark. But like I said, I like to uh, get them in a different uh, setup. And some of the roots are a bit attached to the um, walls, uh, to the terracotta pot, to the sides of the terracotta pot. That was the word. <laughs> and let's get this one out. So I will damage some roots. I cannot do much about it, but it has quite a lot of good roots inside that pot coming out, as I can see from now, so I uh, try to remove quite gently these larger pieces of bark. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to damage some roots, but I try to uh, leave on as much as I can. And I do this because I want to have them in the system. Once they are growing in inorganic medium, I don't have to remove uh, as brutal the material, uh, the potting material as I do now. So that's, it's, it's only one time and then uh, they can grow what they want. So therefore I just do it. I don't think about it too much. I only try to avoid uh, root damage as much as I can. And I want to tag out of there as well. So, there's the tag. So this is uh, what we are have left. I think it uh, did go quite well. There are some roots damaged, but it's not the end of the world. We have some new growths in there as well. Some little ones, so it's really in a good state to uh, repot at this moment. And I will uh, put it, uh, leave it in this basket, this plastic, so it will not uh, rot or anything. I will lay it next to the tag so I don't um, mix them up as we go. Let's have a look at this one. This one is easier. Nice bark, it's still nice and firm. One root attached there, but that did go quite easily. Whoops. So yeah, this one was uh, kind of easy to remove. We had basically two roots who were attached to the bark. So that weren't that many. And we have a new growth here. So also a nice time to repot these guys. Also same story, plastic basket, but I those roots are so attached to the, these baskets, so I leave them in. It will not harm them. The roots can come out or grow over the top and into the next um, new media. So I'm going to get rid of this. And I have another one here that I can use. And I have a little bit of media here. A bit pumice I uh, like to use for them. And um, um, let me see. Some lecca, but I don't have a lecca laying around, apparently. So I hope this is enough pumice. I have more, but um, yeah, I think we will uh, we will have enough. And uh, I love pumice more than the lecca, but I have a lot of lecca, so therefore I try to use it in the bottoms of the pots. So I, it has a use. It now lays around, doing nothing. 
sorry for that noise. Just to see how many pumps I need. Let's see. No. Just a little bit too much. I like to have it. Yes, this is better. A little bit of plastic in the pot, so it's not that obvious that it has some plastic in there. And basically I'm putting them up the same way that Karga did, but uh, now I fill it up with pumice. pebbles because I like the look of it and it may help a little bit in summer to keep it uh, more moist and don't forget the tag I have a hanging a, ha a handmade hanger for the pot <laughs> It's functional, it doesn't look that beautiful, but it works. At least it did, yes, it does. I will show it to you uh, in a minute in the greenhouse. But, uh, first I'm going to uh, attach the label to this pot so I don't mess them up. Okay, um, next pot, here we are. And I will make some noise again. Yeah. This is a nice level. Pinballs again. Don't need that one. Um, okay. So. And the name. Cards, name label, so I don't lose that. Okay, this is done. This is basically done. This is uh, what uh, I uh, just made. Very easy, and I'm not a very experienced on them yet. I have to that I think they are doing well in the same pot, same way I put it up. So therefore I. Uh, but I'm going to buy another two and um, extend my collection with the Lumnia. So I now have four. And uh, yeah, I'm going to hang them in a, green, uh, in a greenhouse and uh, let you see how, uh, how they look. So we will uh, visit now the greenhouse. And there they are. Above them are my two Tolumnias that I already have. Uh, had and uh, these two we just did put up. I think they're really uh, cute hanging there in these uh, pots and like I said it's just like uh, having the same pots for my orchid, orchids uh, because it's easier on the eye I think so therefore I uh, repot them and I most of the times have dark grey or black pots for my uh, self watering setup um, once again because I like the look of that and also with these pots but they have uh, their own corner here next to my vanilla Orchid and next to the vendas, they do get a little less uh, sun here because they're hanging uh, uh, basically onto the wall. And also, I have some room for uh, some more parts if I uh, would like to buy some more tolumnias because I think this is just a nice space for them. And very easy, I just water them uh, nowadays every day because it's a 
really warm here um, but otherwise in the winter every three days I think I spray them and if they uh, keep liking that they are very easy for me to, uh, to have around so therefore uh, I may end up uh, buying some more but um, first we're gonna look how these four will behave but yeah, this is the uh, video for today. Thank you uh, guys for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.